Hey everyone, welcome to this week's lightning fast uh, Azure infrastructure update. It's the 7th of June and literally three updates this week, as you can see when we look at the chapters. New videos this week, I dived into what does it mean to integrate with generative AI, so those large language models, as a developer. But if you're not a developer, so it's about an hour long, it's a super simple Python program we'll create. We go through all of the steps, including what you have to get set up on your computer. But it's just a fun exercise for everyone to understand how they are being leveraged by those applications and what's involved in some of the most basic sets of functionality. So it's an hour of your time, and I think it'll actually be really useful for most people, even if you're not a developer, to just walk through it. Then a really quick video on the new ability that if you have a user risk level and the remediation is to reset your password, well, if I have password hash sync enabled for my Entry Connect or Entry Connect Cloud Sync, I can now change my password on premises to dismiss and reset that status. So on to what's new. So if I'm using API management, that's that ability to centrally provide an inventory and discover APIs and see all the different options available, it now has audit logging in GA. So I turn this on via the diagnostic settings and it's now gonna capture if I'm doing user actions like sign in, sign out, I'm viewing an API, I'm doing API testing. And because it is a diagnostic setting, I can send it to all the regular places, a storage account, an event hub that typically we then go and subscribe from some SIM system. It could be log analytics workspace. All of those standard things I can leverage. And then on the miscellaneous side, so if I'm using a log search alert rule and I'm using linked storage accounts. So ordinarily the underlying storage is just managed automatically for us but there may be times I wanna provide and link my own storage accounts. So in those scenarios, if I'm using my own storage accounts linked to my Azure Monitor logs, well, I have to set up a managed identity. Now it's gonna take effect from July, 2024 for any new rules I create. And from September, 2024, if I don't have that managed identity, they're gonna break. It can be a system or user assigned managed identity, but really important, hey, if I am using those log search alert rules and I am configuring kind of bring my own storage with that, I have to get that managed identity set up. And then Azure Monitor log search alert rules are now available in resource health. So remember resource health is all about helping me diagnose if there's some kind of service problem impacting my Azure resources. So what this now enables me to do is for my log search alert rules, so I've set up an alert rule based on some log search. Now it can leverage the activity log to check the health status of those log search alert rules. And if they are unhealthy, well, I can go and create an alert. And that is it. I told you it was lightning fast. Uh, as always, I hope this video is useful. Until the next video, take care.